confession to make. I'm an OCD traveler. <laughs> Whether it's for personal reasons or professional reasons, I've just found myself constantly on the road. And through the years, I've just kind of found these cool tips and tricks and just habits that I really hope to share with you all. So today's video is really kicking it all off with, I consider seven must have travel accessories that you need. You know, the worst thing about traveling is having a pack. But I found that I've grown to not necessarily love, but packing has really been less of a pain point for me. Um, and these travel accessories have really helped along the way with that. So without further ado, here are my seven favorite must have travel accessories. So the first thing is something called space bags. Where are you going to use this and why are you going to use this? It's for dirty clothes, you guys. So I don't know if you ever have the scenario of your suitcase is perfect when you leave, but then when you're trying to come home, all of a sudden, all the stuff you had originally packed in it just can't fit anymore. My culprit is usually dirty clothes. So I have two brands. One is this bag. It's called Space Bag To Go. And this is personally my favorite. And then the other one is this one that's by Ziploc um, with this bag. So both are looking the same. They both are gonna have um, zippers and like where the magic happens, this X factor. And this is essentially um, kind of what makes this bag work and it's so magical. Why this bag is so magical? Because it's compression bags. Um, and they come in different sizes. So this one is their small and they also offer a large. So how do you use this? A couple of things. You will notice on the bag, there's a line that says stop. So you, any brand that you get, they're all gonna have that. And this warning is because they're telling you don't have clothes when you put it in the bag. Don't have it go above this line or else the compression is not gonna work as well as it should. So what I tend to do is, I have my dirty clothes, I fold them, I put them in this compression bag, and then I seal the zipper. And what you do is you roll the bag and you're essentially pushing the air out of the bag. And that's how all the clothes essentially get shrink wrapped. So when I was talking about different sizes, that's the smaller space bags. I tend to put like more awkward shaped items like socks, underwear, bras, those kind of things tend to go in the smaller one. And then the bigger one is where I want to put like my shirts, my pants, those kind of things. A t another tip that I have for this bag beyond don't feel beyond the line is whatever, however I folded the clothes when I packed is how I fold them when I put it in the space bag. Because the idea is when I'm in my suitcase, like I obviously am filling it all with nooks and crannies, but if this was the section that I had these sweaters in, that's the section that I want to put the space bag in to fit my sweater. The next item that I have that I cannot live without is something called packing cubes. So this is a brand that I got from Amazon and it's called Pro Packing Cubes. And I remember when I bought it, it seemed like a pricey set. Like I think I almost paid like $30 for it. And I was like, is this going to be worth it? But what I love about it is, is they come in, you get a variety of sizes. So we get this cute teeny tiny one and they all have handles. Um, this like... I call it a medium, small medium. And then you get like this kind of medium, large type bag. And then you get this size, which I just call like, <laughs> I call this gigantic. This is massive. I never use this bag. My boyfriend does though. Like he loves this size because he packs his entire suitcase with packing cubes. And like that, that's just not me. I don't, I don't do that. When do I use these bags and why? I tend to use these bags if I'm traveling for a week or more. And what I really like about these is it just helps me categorize my clothing items so that I can grab and I can find an item very quickly. So like for this itty bitty tiny bag, this might be for like underwear um, or in socks or socks maybe. This bag I tend to use more for like um, layering items like tank tops, t-shirts. And this bag I probably use the most for those items. I usually do gym clothes in here. So a couple of things about, this is one of my tips for packing cubes, okay? This isn't gonna necessarily save you space in your suitcase. It could be quite the opposite depending on how you pack it. It could end up being very, very bulky. So the rolling method is great and, you could, and you're gonna have to use the rolling method. I suggest that that's my tip when you're even using these bags. So if you think you're just gonna be able to take these shirts you fold it and just stick it in here, and that's all you want to do, that's fine because you just want to know, hey, all my shirts are in here, that's great. But if you're using these and trying to maximize your luggage space, I would highly recommend rolling items. So 
There's also different options for space bags. This was my first one. This is a brand from called Embark. I think I got this from the container store too. Um, but you can see this one has a lot more structure, right? I stopped using this because I found this to be too bulky. And so it was taking up too much luggage space because if I didn't fill this up, this size didn't shrink. Like it stays this size. And you know, even for a five day, four night trip, I'm using a carry on. And so this was just taking up too much valuable space. But that's why I love using these is that it is a thinner material and it might look a little cheaper. That's what I thought when I first got it, you guys. But don't judge a book by its cover because these are so durable and amazing. But what I also like about this is, look at how much it could expand. So I can pack, like once this is full with my rolled items, I can now stuff maybe like my glasses. I can stuff like a bigger, like my Mophie charger. Like I can just maximize my space because this is gonna take up the space in the suitcase, but I wanna fill this up all the way. So that's another nice tip about why I like um, these pro packing cubes. And then you guys already know of my dirty clothes. I put them in the space bags. Well, when this is done, it collapses to nothing versus that Embark one, it was still bulky in my suitcase. My next item that I cannot live without is something called packing folders. And so the brand, the only brand that I've seen that carries these is a brand called Eagle Creek and this is what they look like. So I have two sizes. This is what they consider small. Um, and then this other one is, <laughs> this is called medium. Um, but these are the two sizes that I do have. I got this one from Amazon and I got this from Amazon probably five years ago and I loved it so much that I got a second one. Um, in terms of useful sizes, this medium one I technically got for my boyfriend, but I found that he doesn't use these as much as I do because I think his clothes, he's not as concerned about um, his clothes needing to stay a certain shape, okay? Why I started using these? You get to your destination, you're gonna go to dinner, you're excited, you pull out that cute dress that you're gonna be excited to wear, and you pull out of the suitcase, and it's wrinkled. <laughs> I hate ironing, you guys. Like, I hate ironing. Like, that's why I started using these packing folders. They truly minimize wrinkles, and also they provide compression so that you can pack more stuff. That's why I'm obsessed with it. I don't have to iron when I use these packing folders and I fold it the right way. So how you're gonna use these packing folders, okay, is it, each of them come with this like plastic almost sheet thing. And the idea is whatever item you're gonna use, you're gonna fold around the packing sheet. So like, let's do a blouse example. This is the blouse. You're gonna put this in the back of the blouse and you're gonna fold the clothing item around the sheet and you're gonna fold it in half. When you're done, it's nice and flat. What I can then do is I can stack a bunch of my items that I have already folded and put it in this. They have these things called wings. And what's nice is you can make it as tight as you'd like, but what the end result is that I love is everything's nice and flat. I don't really see like creases also on top of that. Like, um, you know how when you fold things, you put them in a drawer sometimes, like you say, especially t-shirts, like you see that t-shirt crease. Um, I don't see that as much when I use these, especially when I put like t-shirts in between like billowy items, like a blouse or a dress, it's less crease effect and they last forever. And I love it because you can pull them out easily, um, but it just keeps everything nice, flat and compact. And I feel like it frees up more space in my suitcase as well. Um, that's why I love them. So the next item I have, is strictly because I'm a germaphobe, <laughs> and that's shoe bags. So I have a, t I have, a, I have a ton, but I'm gonna show you guys three examples. They are all from Amazon, but I wanted to show you the three bags I use the most and what occasions I use it for. So this one, oh my god, you guys, I, there's no more, there's no drawstring anymore. But like, I will not let go of this bag, and there's no need to because it still works. So with this bag, I got this because we were doing, um, I think, a beach vacation. And so you guys know with sand, it can get everywhere. This is a perfect material for wet and sandy items. I went hiking recently with my cousins in Portland, and I knew our shoes would get muddy. I brought this shoe bag. So what's great about this is you can wipe it down very easily. And then also, you can just turn it inside out and dump all your sand. Um, that's where this is my go-to for those situations. 
These I got recently on Amazon. They came in a pack of five. What I liked about it is they were brightly colored. That other one, it's only one color. And so it's kind of like, oh, what shoe was this again? With these, they came in different colors, but they also have this panel, like this window pane, that you can see what shoe it is. And then when you're done, you zip it up. This one has the drawstrings. I just got this pretty recently, but it's great. The thing that I was running into though, and why I got a third shoe bag, you guys, is because these, you have to put shoes in together. And you guys know that shoes can be very bulky and take up a lot of precious luggage space. And you guys, I can only pack in maybe one or two pairs of shoes. The struggle was real. What I ended up doing was finding these shoe bags. This is designed for just one shoe. What I like about this is that the material is very flexible. So even if my shoe is only this size, it folds up a lot more easily. And so I use this more for like a bulky shoe item, like a wedge. And so I could put one wedge in here and I would take the sole of the wedge and back it up to the side of my suitcase and then take the other one and put it on the other side. And then I could put clothes and things all around it. So I'm super, I'm maximizing my luggage space. And now you guys, I can pack an extra pair of shoes. That's why I love these. So moving on to accessories. We all have a lot of devices and we have wires for everything. And I used to keep all of my wires in a sandwich Ziploc bag. But one thing that would bother me is, is that I would roll up my wires and they wouldn't stay small, right? They're gonna grow to the size of the sandwich bag. So I started using this silicone silicone pencil case and it's been like amazing, it's been great because when I roll up my wires, it stays like to the size that I keep it rolled up in so I can fit a ton more wires. So like my Apple Watch, my iPod, <laughs> iPad, like I, I no, I don't carry an iPod and an iPad and iPhone, um, but I can keep all my wires in here and I love it. The other benefit of having it be neon pink is I'm a Tasmanian devil when it's time for me to check out of a hotel. So like I'm pulling wires out from different outlets and I like, throw them on the bed. So with this being hot pink, it's great because the wires are just around it and I could just see them all together, grab it and go. The other thing that always stays in this silicone case, this is my packing case, is this power adapter. And it sounds so, so silly, so, so silly. But this has two USB ports. I don't even use those one that Apple give me anymore because I'm like, I can only charge one. I stole this from my boyfriend. Um, when you have those fights over like, why do you charge my phone, I need to charge my phone. It's two and I love it. The last item is an item that I don't use frequently. So this is a packing duffel, packable duffel. So I'm using this when we're going away on a trip and I know that I'm gonna have a lot of souvenirs, but I don't wanna pay for an extra checked bag both ways. I mean, you know, like bag, baggage fees is a lot. So what I will do is, what I was looking for was something that I could throw in my suitcase. And, and what I was really looking for was something durable. Like if I'm gonna check this in, I need this bag to not rip, right? And like just fall apart on me at baggage claim. And I found this on Amazon. The brand's called Gonex, Gonex, but I love it. It's so many bright, cool colors. Why that's important, you guys. You don't want to be that monochromatic. Let me get all my luggage black because guess what? Everyone has a black luggage. We had, before we started using these, we had a duffel that was Greg and Nike duffel. And we freaking forgot it at the airport, you guys. I will never forget this bag and I will know that this is my bag. So that's the other cool thing. So how do we use this? You know how I use those space bags for all my dirty clothes? Um, when we are ready to come home, I open this up and it's super cool. First of all, they say this is the size of an iPad. Like what? So it's pretty big, but I will say like it fits in a suitcase pretty nicely. And for me, the priority is like a packable duffel over like, maybe packing one less pair of jeans, you know? So anyway, it's really cool as you zip it open. It also came in a bunch of different sizes. I got the middle size version, but it literally opens up into a duffel. And so what's amazing about it is it's lightweight, right? This thing probably weighs no more than four pounds. You already know it's luggage. You can't check in like more than 50 pounds. And so this is perfect to take a lot of space, but I put all my dirty clothes in. So all those space bags that we've accumulated over the course of the trip, throw it in there, tennis shoes and my shoe bag, I'll throw that in there. Maybe I have some bulky boots, 
throw that in there. Anything that I know is going to be fine getting beat up and tossed around is what goes in there. Um, we've used this on our last two international trips and I have one and my boyfriend has one and we really didn't need to bring two. We just needed to bring one and it would just been sufficient to put all our dirty clothes in one. So that's amazing. And then what's nice is because it can collapse so much, I will, you can actually use this as a carry on and it's so bendable that you can toss it under the seat in front of you or you can put it on the overhead. Those are all my must have travel accessories. Hopefully you found a new kind of um, packing hack accessory that is gonna change your life or maybe it's just something that you're already using and I'm just showing you a different way of using it. But thank you for watching this video.